All right, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Int Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta at Rainbow Status here on the global side of the game. And throughout this video, I'm going to be making the case that this dude is actually the best Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta we currently have in the entire game, at least until one of the other ones gets their own Extreme Z Awakening as well, or we get a new version, which could be pretty soon since I'm hearing rumors about a potential LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta that's coming to the JP side of the game for their Tana Bata celebration next, uh, next month. So if that's the case, then obviously that one is gonna be better than this one. But for the time being, as of June 16th, 2020, I do think this guy is the best and that might be a little bit of a controversial opinion maybe some people disagree with me and if you do that's totally fine let me know in the comments down below why you disagree and uh, we can talk about it all right so without further ado let's pop into the showcase and as you can see we're running a realm of gods team and we have a really good rotation here with the int vegeta and the fizz transforming vegeta and also the support from the West Supreme Kai. And Int Vegeta is starting off with 94,124 defense. And also pay attention to the Phase Vegeta's defense too, 118,206. Obviously part of that is the West Supreme Kai, but also a big part of that is the Int Vegeta's support as well. All right, he gives 50% extra defense to all super type realm of god's allies which is a pretty significant boost all right that was way more orbs than he needed but that's okay uh it's fine okay so first attack first turn let's see what his damage looks like okay so we're getting super first this might not be a good look for him because we do have disadvantage here 117k don't worry about that okay he's gonna build up pretty quickly and uh even though you know that was a lot of damage that was a lot of damage he will definitely do better later on. So just ignore that. That didn't happen. <laughs> That's all good, but you get the point. Like, of course, that was gonna hurt because we do have types of advantage. It is still super before we had a chance to actually stack up any defense. Next turn, he's gonna be much better. And then uh, throughout the showcase, you'll see that his tanking, even though it's not like the best tanking we've seen, he does tank quite well. Now, let's talk about him compared to some of the other Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas in this game, right? There's the tech one with uh, his Dokkan Awakening. And I think that one is probably considered by most people to be the best Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in the game right now. And I understand why people think that. I definitely see that viewpoint. I disagree, but I understand. There's also the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta that transforms into a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And that guy's really good too. And I think that it's kind of close between that one and this one, but I would still give the edge to this guy for sure. And then there's also the older AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta and also the uh, STR Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. And those guys are very much outdated. I don't think there's really much debate between those guys and this one. So we're just gonna discount those. And the real conversation is really between this guy the AGL, yo, additional right there, 2.9 mil. I like it. So about 5 million total attack generated that turn. Uh, oh man, man, I wish I checked the defense. My bad, I should check the defense for you guys. So next turn we will check it, but uh, it was probably easily over 110,000, 120,000, something like that. I'm not sure, because I definitely should have checked. Um, what was I saying again? I lost my train of thought. Man, I do this so much, I always just lose my train of thought when I get distracted by something random. In this case, it was the attack stat, but uh, let me get, let me, let me try to get back on track. Okay, so him versus the AGL one, the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution one, as well as the tech one. Okay, so let's start with the comparison to the tech one. The tech one obviously has the potential to be very, very tanky and do a lot of damage because he's a nuker, right? He gets 20% attack and defense with every key sphere and then uh, gets even more on top of that if it's a tech type key sphere right so obviously he has a very high ceiling as far as how hard he can hit and how well he can tank 
But the issue with him, in my opinion, is that he's not the most consistent, right? Oh, by the way, let's check real quick. 148,000 defense without any support on this turn. 148,000 defense. The uh, Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta has 142,000, which is also very good. And Beerus is now over 100,000 as well. So this whole, whole rotation is over 100,000 defense, which is very solid. And of course, the reason for that is because of this Vegeta's support, 50% defense to all super type realm of gods right so uh anyways i find the tech vegeta to be a little bit too inconsistent for my taste obviously i love him i think he's an amazing unit don't get me wrong but some turns you can get like 10 tech spheres and just be a monster other turns you can get like three and not even reach a million attack and his defense can be very lackluster too and obviously he's best when he's able to stack up over many 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 turns right to build up his attack and defense because he is a stacker as well so in like the longest events in this game if you're talking about uh legendary goku event infinite dragon ball history and maybe anything else that comes in the future like other kinds like a uh, vegeta legendary event or a frieza legendary event anything like that i do think that the tech vegeta actually does over the long long term, over the course of the event, will have the edge because he is able to he's able to stack right a ton of attack and defense. But I think I give the edge overall to this Vegeta because he's always going to be giving you consistent damage output, right? You always know what to expect from him. He's always going to give you at least like 2.2, 2.3 million, and then on the high end, if you have a nice support, you are able to stack a couple times, you know, over 3 million attack. So. For that reason, I do prefer this Vegeta over the tech one. There's also, of course, the big difference in stats, right? With his Extreme Z Awakening, oh crap, um, these two don't link too well, right? The God, the God, not God, Ku, God Vegeta and the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta don't link too well here, mainly because of the lack of uh, key links, yeah. Or at least shared key links so i think we actually might not be able to get a super off but do pay attention to the fact that he has 210,000 defense all right that's very good so i'm not too worried about him i think he's gonna tank quite well i just wish i could get a super off with the int one but it doesn't look like we can so this is a pretty rough rotation but that's okay we'll get through it and we'll be back on track after once uh, vegeta transforms into super saiyan blue vegeta anyways um consistent damage and also stats of course yeah stats wise this guy actually has the best stats because of his extreme z awakening he has over 17,000, i think 17.4 thousand uh attack to be exact versus the tech vegeta's 13,500 at max potential and actually compared to every other uh super saiyan blue vegeta in the game too he has the best stats all right the agl one the the one that transforms into super saiyan blue vegeta or Evolution Vegeta rather, has about 15,000 attack at max potential. The, uh, what other ones are there? The STR one, the OG, um, AGL one as well. They're all around 13,500. And I think that's it, right? Those are all the Super Saiyan Blue Vegetas. So yeah, compared to the next Vegeta with the highest attack stat, this guy has over 2,000 attack more, which obviously makes a huge huge difference um when compared to the agl one once the agl one transforms into super saiyan blue evolution vegeta i believe that one does have the edge in attack like overall damage at least because he has that high chance not really high chance but like very high chance right just overall builds up over time of uh critting and when you take that into consideration yes he might hit harder than this one but you gotta also think about just everything else this vegeta does right i guess long story short the reason that i think this vegeta is the best right now is mainly because he just does more man he does more than the other vegetas all right he has that 50 percent support to realm of god super type units he has actually something we can't test in this showcase which is the debuffing of extreme class enemies right extreme class enemies attack and defense minus 20 percent and also a high chance to stun the enemy when they're an extreme type those are two things we can't test on this event 
because obviously we're facing Goku the entire time and uh, he just is never extreme. So we can't test that. But if you're facing an enemy who has um, or who is an extreme type, then obviously he also has a huge edge over the other Vegetas because that debuff is huge, 20% attack and defense and also the high chance to stun. And if the enemy can be stunned, then he's gonna be stunning them half the time, which is gonna be super, super useful, especially on like Super Battle Road. If you're stunning a couple enemies, or even just one enemy, um, and avoiding a super, that can save your life, right? That can save your run. Okay, so as you can see, defense now is down to 91,000 again, because we lost the actual stacking, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But uh, on most occasions, if you are able to consistently get him to super, he's always gonna be over 100,000, um, and closer to, 130, 140, 150,000. Okay, so um, let's give a couple to Topo and let's see what he can do here. All right, so we're taking a da uh, attack for 12 damage still. So even though we did lose a lot of that defense, still very tanky and we're hitting for 2.1 mil right there. All right, perfect. Um, I think I've made most of my points, guys. Those are most of the reasons why I think that this Vegeta is the best Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in the game. Um, I can hear the case, as I said earlier in the video, if someone wants to say the Tech one is the best, or the HL one is the best. Um, anything else would not be valid, because honestly, the uh, STR one, the OG HL one are just way too outdated at this point. They definitely need Extreme Z Awakenings ASAP, as well as some of the other Super Saiyan Blue Gokus, especially the AGL one, but that's a different discussion for a different time. Um, this guy just does a lot, man. He, he has a lot of different mechanics that just these other Vegetas just don't really have, right? Like he's not selfish, all right? He looks out for his allies too. He looks out for the other units on his rotation and makes them more tanky as well. So look at this. Um, he's currently at 111,000. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, as a, or the Fizz one, is at 189,000, and Beerus once again at 106,000. And uh, this is something that I just really love about this unit, man. The, in my opinion, super side of Realm of Gods, I, I want to say struggles defensively, but there are like, like it's not the most amazing. Oh crap, this is going to hurt. Is it? Mm, 51k, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Anyways. I was saying, the super side of Realm of Gods, you know, has some pretty tanky units, but like, it's not amazing overall defensively, right? And this guy helps a lot with that. He helps a ton with that by giving that additional 50% uh, defensive support, just making the team overall that you're running much more tanky. All right, 3.37 mil right there. No crit, unfortunately. Crit would have been a KO, would have been over but uh, still pretty good damage. Um, and just overall, man, he doesn't hit the hardest, obviously. He doesn't tank the best, but he's very impressive in both categories. And then you take into consideration that support, take into consideration that debuff of extreme enemies. And uh, in my mind, in my eyes, he is the best Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I think I said that multiple times. You guys get the point. All right, I, know, I know somebody out there is gonna be like, yo, Tiger. Who do you think is the best Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in the game? And I know I, repeat my, I repeated myself a lot, but I'm just trying to get the point across, you know? I'm, I'm trying to be very clear about my thoughts, and this is what I think. And I do expect some backlash about this. I do expect some people to disagree with me. And that's the fun part of making these videos, right? The fact that not everybody is going to agree with my opinions, and some people might get upset. But as long as they don't, you, as, as long as they don't get too upset, right? As long as you realize that this is still a game at the end of the day and I'm happy to have a discussion with you I'm happy to talk about it and uh, we can you know both try to make our points right okay so I think this is gonna be the last turn of the of the showcase because obviously there's not much else to see here you have 141,000 defense for the Int Vegeta 217,000 for the Fizz Vegeta by the way I don't include I don't include the Fizz Vegeta as a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta because he just takes many turns to get there and uh, talk, like the other guys you know, start off as Super Saiyan Blue so that's he's, he's, he's not part of this discussion right now. <laughs> okay we reached over 3 million that's awesome and uh, we hit for about a million okay additional 3.2 
Let's end this with a crit. Vegeta, come on. There we go. 2.16. All right, perfect. And, um, you know, as this is playing, I'm going to just end things off. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with my assessment that this guy is the best Super Saiyan Blue, or is it something else? Is it the tech one? Is it the AGL one? Um, you know, make your points. I'm, I'm happy to talk, right? So that's all I got to say. And ah, man, I don't, I don't usually like quitting these showcases, right? Like I don't like quitting these stages. So why don't we just, you know what? Let's have a little fun. Let's hop this active skill and then we'll attack with the Beerus. And uh, as that's happening, we'll end the video. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got to say. That is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.